Why do you think it is that you had that opportunity? I think one of the reasons I had that opportunity is because um, um, both my parents valued education. Okay. And they valued um, the fact that you want to do something, always prepare yourself to be the best at what you're doing. So, so I was really, really big into music, sports, anything I put my hands into, it was try to be as good as you can be at it. But your neighborhood friends as you're coming up, mm -hmm. what are they doing? Well, some of them ain't here. Two or three of them play. One of my really good friends we grew up playing with is a phenomenal guitar player, and he grabbed it early. Yes. And his dad was a saxophone player. Okay. And I worked with him with uh, Mavis Staples. He's a great guitarist and lives here in town. I guess the reason I'm asking is because it's, it's Chicago, right? So it's known as a rough town. I know it's known as a rough town now it's probably rough. more than it was it's a rough then. Town. Yeah. But like, so growing up, for example, growing up in Windsor, as a kid growing up in Windsor, you know your option is basically factory life. You're gonna go work, I see right? You're okay. You're gonna get into a factory and you're gonna go do some stuff. And I mean, you hear you hear stories about Chicago, and for a lot of kids growing up in this city, there isn't even an option like that. Right. So I just kind of wonder, coming up in the house that you grew up in, now you said your parents uh, valued education, and I'm sure that's true for a lot of your, your friends' parents, mm -hmm. but like in a community where you can value education all day, but a lot of times it's go get a job, go find some money, go find a way to make it. Mm -hmm. Yes, a lot of that. and and. Like I said, fortunately for me, my dad kind of tied the bridge together, which is playing is fun, right. but if you're trying to do this and you're going to work once a month and, and, and not work the rest of the month, that's not going to work. Right. He said, so you have, you have an option. You know, you're either going to hold down a job or you're going to get a job playing, which is still a job. Mm -hmm. So he was basically opening doors for me to um, figure out that if you're going to work, you're going to work somewhere. Why not work doing what you like? Yeah. So I ended up playing a lot of different music, but I was employed. Did you, coming through Chicago specifically, where there's so many, because there's, there's a lot of opportunity for musicians in mm -hmm. the city. Did you run across the, because like there's a long running joke on the show where I, I say basically at the end of the day, we all know musicians are just a bunch of lazy assholes that don't want to work anyway. So they figured out this is what they're doing. And I mean, I can say it and I, I understand what, uh, there, I get a little flash, slap back on it. Uh -huh. And I understand that, but you know what I'm saying. There's plenty of those guys. There's plenty, yes. Do you, is there a better work ethic around music here? Gosh, I think so. I think it's a really good work ethic around here. Yeah. Of music. Yeah. These guys are they're I mean, if they decide to make it full time, they're they're humbling to work six, seven nights a week. Yeah. And the beauty of Chicago is you can do that. You can do that. If you're good enough, yeah. you you know, and you get yourself known. Are you able to do it locally? Like, like do, you stay, do you stay around home most of the time or do you find yourself on the road? I do some road work, not as much, excuse me, not as much as I used to do. Right. Because Susan and I are trying to, to do things with our band and they can move. So some things I sacrifice and not do it. But um, there is a lot of times I'll just, I'll even look at the calendar and see what I have. And I'll make my, make my um, decisions based on how much do I have got to the Susan's going this week here's pretty open. But I got an offer to do this and it. We had one just come up. It was um, the guy offered me like 10 days. And I came out and said, look, I was, yeah, man, we, I got a big hole here. I need to go. He said, yeah, let's do that. Right. But a lot of times, we'll have plenty for us, and I'll get these calls, and, and I won't take them. Some of them are worth more money, but it's not worth it long term for me right. to try to get this, what we're doing, off the ground and but, make it happen. But that's great, because you, you have the source right here that's close to home. And that's still exactly still right. right. That's exactly right. So let's get you can subscribe to our full audio episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere you find your audio podcasts. The full episodes, highlights, and our live off-the-floor performance videos can be found at our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The AVB Podcast. Of course, you'll find links to our incredible sponsors and this week's guest in the description below. The AVB Podcast is part of the Border City Network. Find more great content at BorderCityNetwork.com. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.